Tom Berry, the de debut phase, is one of the great moments, his first senior game. What, what will he bring to the side? And it's a bit of a boost given the, you know, his brother's also there as well. Yeah, it's great to see the brothers together. It's a pity that um, their dad, Troy, um, can't get up here to watch the game. Uh, Tommy's been selected on the back of, uh, he had a really good practice match against Carlton in the pre-season and then our two intra-clubs, he's been excellent. He's a, he's a tough, quick pressure forward and uh, he'll complement guys like uh, Charlie Cameron and Link McCarthy and Zorks and, and Rayner in our forward line. So, uh, you know, he'll bring pressure and he'll, he'll bring hardness at the footy. But also, it's, a, it's just a great story when your brothers get to play together, you know, it is rare, it, it does seem to happen a lot, but it's still rare if you think about it. Yeah, it is rare across the course of AFL history, so, uh, you know, two lads from Horsham uh, get the opportunity to play together, and, and hopefully that's the beginning of a really good partnership, it's not just a, a once-off, that, that Tommy can cement his spot on the side and, and play regularly with his brother. Given, I mean, given their youth, I mean, could you see a little dynasty for the two of them establishing it? They both seem to love it up here. Yeah, look, I hope so. I mean, we're a really young side. That's, you know, you've got to remind people about that. We, we're getting better as a football club and team, but we're still the second or third youngest list in the AFL. We're still growing and developing. So, uh, yeah, it's a great opportunity for anyone that's sort of between the age of 18 and 23 to, to become a part of hopefully a really strong uh, Brisbane Lions outfit for years to come. You also had some experience as well in Birch coming in and Archie's played a couple of years at the Suns as well. So, so two guys with, with some, big, with, you know, some, some games under their belt coming yeah, in. Yeah, and Froggy Lester back into the team. But uh, Birch is a great story. I mean, he's had a lot of injury in interruption over the last two years. He was set to make his debut against his old team in round one and had a little hiccup in the week leading up and, and couldn't play. Uh, but he's had a uh, really good training block over the the three months that we've had on, off and um, you know his form in our games has been really good so we're looking forward to him making a really solid contribution to, to our team. Bags, it feels like almost everyone in the footy world in the last 24 hours has had a, an opinion on the 16 minute quarters after last night's sort of scrappy opening. What's your opinion? Uh, oh, look, there's, we haven't got a lot of evidence yet. We've got one round of footy and one game last night. Um, you probably need to you know, re-ask that question in six to eight weeks time and see how everything's panning out. Um, I'm probably a bit of a traditionalist. I like the game the way it was. Um, you know, a, a test over two hours, physical test. Um, I'd probably prefer for it to stay that way. But having said that, you know, we've prepared for the 100 minute game. Um, we know that's going to be a little bit more intense than usual. Um, and there'll be some other things that we learn along the way. Um, but to be honest, I don't really care if it's 100 minutes or 40 minutes, we're back playing. So that's the main thing, and I'm sure the players feel the same way. Did you watch, did you watch the game last night? Yeah, I had a good look at it. It was, um, it was a tough night at the MCG, two, two good teams playing each other. Uh, when, the, when the MCG gets wet and slippery and dewy in the middle of winter, uh, it can feel really big, bigger than what it is, and uh, it's hard to move the ball from one end to the other quickly. So it was a bit of a game like that. Um, enthralling to watch. Um, sort of uh, ironic that after so long off we, we can't get a result in a game, but uh, you've got to laugh about that, don't you? Do, It'll be do a you fast fans, sorry. Sorry, do you think sorry. fans will need to accept that for the first couple of weeks the players are going to be underdone and they're just not going to be able to run out games like they were? Yeah, maybe. It's a, sh it's a short preparation four weeks after a long layoff. Um, I'm hoping our blokes can see it through and be, be really sharp, but um, you know, we'll have a better feel on that once we see all the games this weekend. It, it may have been just two really good teams going hard at each other last night that made it look like that, but um, yeah, we'll see how it all, all pans out. As you said, it was a night game at the G's again tomorrow afternoon at the Gabba, it's going to be a pretty fast track, isn't it? So yeah, it, it is. So it might be a bit more open, won't it? It might be a bit more open and the players, <laughs> the players might appreciate the shorter game tomorrow. There might be a bit of fatigue. I think it's meant to be 24, 25 degrees and a little bit of humidity, so it'll be a, a great physical test on the back of a short preparation. Or at Cam Rainer, mate, he had a bit of a niggle with the knee or whatever, is he...? Uh, he played in our practice game last week for three quarters, got a knock on his knee uh, late. Um, he was back training again by Tuesday, so I was limping around a bit Sunday and Monday, but it's made a good recovery, so uh, fit to play and been in good form. What are you expecting from these teams in the hub? Then up when we asked the skipper the this yesterday, they basically they had their lives uprooted, haven't they? Yeah, they they have. But I guess um, like all things in life, you get your head around the challenges that that you face with, and they've known about that for quite some time. Um, my expectation is that it'll galvanise those guys and and make them make them an an even greater force. So uh, um, you know, I, I don't see that as a 
you know, a reason to take teams easy or to think that they're not going to be able to produce their best. It, it may have the opposite effect. Um, you know, we, we see that with cricket teams that tour overseas and um, you know, they spend a lot of time together and uh, they come out and perform well. Um, I, I'm, that's what I'm expecting from Fremantle and all the other teams that come up here into the hub. It's a pretty nice place to be this time of year and I'm sure that they'll adapt. How many times have you watched the Hawthorne game in the last, I don't know, eight, nine weeks? Oh yeah, I probably watched it three or four times and I gave up because there's no point after a while. I mean, you learn some things from it. It was a strange weekend, that weekend. Um, we've moved on from that and we've tried to improve elements of our game from that particular one-off performance um, against a pretty good and experienced side. So, um, you know, uh, you don't hold on to things for too long. In this game, you've got to move on from wins and losses pretty quickly, I think.